Hi guys, welcome back. We are notification 2. Let's get the custom big notification set up in which we are going to be creating a music control notification and uh, this is not actually going to be getting or connecting to a music service but it's going to have a full template structure working uh, which can be reusable uh, in connecting to any music application. I uh, will be using the notification compact builder api to set this up we're actually going to be moving ahead from the first part which uh we created the open notification that's a simple notification that opens the calling activity and uh, we're going to be building on that source uh what about we'll finish up in this part we'll be creating another layout to set up the big notification about give a layout resource file of our big notification so have that done And uh, let's create uh, the structure of its XML. Very important. Uh, we have to have a layout to set up that on. So this is going to be a linear layout. Let's maintain this. And uh, actually going to give an orientation of vertical. Let's have an orientation. orientation. right there we have that right there so let's just keep that low and uh, let's give a background let's give a background and a background let's get a background of black and the layout This will take an attribute of horizontal. That's fine. And right inside here, we'll give an image view. Let's specify the width and height of this image view. It's not going to be using. The whole view. So I have to give it dp, and uh, this is where you can actually place probably the movie or let's say the audio album acts. That's the display, you know, probably from the service or something. And if you're not using service, you can use uh, the default logo. You know, just Play that. Let's, let's use the default make map. Uh, I see launch here. It's fine. Right inside here, we're still going to have another linear layout to create the other part of the body. Layout width. Um, that's gonna be one as we let on the orientation. That's good. Let's give a padding all around by the The layout, match parent, appointment. Let's have a preview. I see the preview. Um, orientation. Side here, we're going to have a text view. Now, uh, let's give match parents and wrap content. Let's 
the sun and ID. Um, let's give that the name of the song, text song. What other attributes do we need? We need the width, layout width, one. We also need the gravity, the center right, just the gravity, and that's center vertical. So that's the vertical aspect, a single line. Oh, that's deprecated. Uh, we can just leave that out and uh, let's have a text color. Let's give that white. Okay. And uh, text size. Star bold uh, as a structure of the title, you know, the song name. And now we're going to, to get the button as a cancel button. This is optional, you can decide to leave that out since. We have the swipe effect on the latest APIs. Even if you're on KitKat, Lollipop, that's a swipe cancel. Give an ID. Yeah, let it be descriptive. And layout margin left. Oh, let's give that five dp. So um, let's give it a background image. That's drawable. Have some drawable PNG files right there for fast forward, for pause, play, and uh, cancel. So that's that. Now I'm going to create the play icons which will be sitting right in another linear layer. And this time um, still going to maintain the match period in wrap content. So the layout Line rent button Let's give a, a divider. How about we call the drawable divider? My divider. I have a divider XML. Let's just have a solid under color of white. So, actually call it right inside the layout. And let's give it a divider padding. 12 pp. 
the gravity of center and the orientation of horizontal which show dividers in the middle. So let's have our buttons, the button pass, the play, reviews, we'll give that specific layout with tonight, 32 dBs, 32 dBs, and uh, let's give you a, a layout margin. The background of IC action. Let's 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 do the, the forward there, not the backward. Previous first. Let's give an ID. Then reviews. Right. Now we we'll need to copy this because we we'll need for the force. Fast forward. We need more, one more here. Now let's change for force. And the IC launch. Drive which should also change. That's gonna be the boss. That's fine. We're going to have two more. It's actually going to be for play. And the IC also change to play. But now we're going to take away the possibility of this. Done. Let's have the last one, which is for next. So this is the structure that we want and uh, this particular portion will be the uh, the music name. So we have the control widget, the fast forward pause and the backward with the album act of that particular uh, music playing. So from here we'll be added straight to the Java class to undo the functionality, at least to make the template then system work so we're actually going to go straight to main activity let's see the entry point now we need to create an click listener to the open big content set on click listener Listener. Now we need to override on click.
now we're going to call on the notification generator which is for the custom big notification call the notification generator This time it's going to be open the custom B notification, which will be created shortly. Get application context. Perfect. So we add it straight to the notification generator to have that done. Now we're going to be having another method after the open activity notification. We have in public boy custom notification. And let's, let's have the body. First of all, call the remote views. Expanded view. Let's instantiate with the new remote views. Now we'll pass the context. Get package name of the layout. Big notification. Close that right there. Now let's make reference to the notification compact builder. Builder. Give an object of NC. Shades, new notification, compact beauty, pass the context, new notification compact, beauty, now let's have the notification manager. NM starts to the notification manager for the context get system service context notification service Actually, needs a service now. We create our intent, call it notify intent, associate with the new intent, pass it the context. Now we need to call a class, you know, so we just call the main activity. So this can, this can actually be the player activity so you shouldn't forget this is structure that can be integrated to a real life music activity set flags call the intent flag activity clear text tax or intent flag activity intent now we're going to have a pending intent 
very important because this is actually going to uh, get details from the broadcast receiver which actually made sharing of an activity possible for the context notify intent and in intent for the flag update current now let's start creating the shared preference we set content intent depending intent Let's start creating the notification builder. Small icon. This small icon is actually visible at the top bar. You know, once the notification has been launched, that's a small icon that notifies that you have a notification for that particular application. So you should know what all these attributes are. I am going to actually make this look like the play, drawable. Action play. Now we can set cancel to auto cancel. We can set auto cancel to true. Let's keep back to these attributes. These are what builds up the notification. Set custom. Big content view to expanded view, which were, was created from the remote views earlier. Now set the content title. Of title, let's call it a music player. A music player, which can be from JSON value set content text to sequence product control audio notification. And uh, let's get the content view. Set text. Now let's call the ID of the text view. Text song name. Let's pass the name of the artist. Let's call it add it. That's fine. Now we also need a listener. Set listeners. To expanded view. Context. We need a set listeners uh, method to actually undo that for us. So we're actually going to create that now. The listeners. Private static void 